Hi, Chris. How are you doing? I'm doing terrific. Cherry, how are you? I'm fine. Congratulations on the new movie. Oh, thank you very, very much. So can you tell me a little bit about it? I sure can. I sure can. Uh, Out of the Burning Blue is a story about an American pilot, Jackson Cove, who's stationed in uh, North Africa during World War I, about 1918. He's grounded because of bad behavior. And uh, him and an English nurse go into the, uh, they're on assignment, they go into, uh, go into the desert to find a down German pilot. And uh, then, uh, then as good adventure stories uh, go, uh, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Uh, what attracted me to this role was, uh, was uh, you know, uh, J Jackson Cove gives me the opportunity to uh, to 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 play the uh, to play kind of a rugged uh, a rugged uh, a rugged guy. Uh, I haven't had uh, the opportunity in my career, just pretty much based on age. Uh, you know, I, I came in really young, and uh, you know, I'm I'm in my mid and late thirties now, and uh, it's about time to play some of these characters. And I was excited to get the opportunity. Sort of use to base the character on? Did you do a lot of historical re historical research for the time period? Uh, I I did a bit of historical research just to get acquainted with uh, with what uh, with, with what these pilots uh, were kind of like. Um, uh, but but really uh, the character uh, was really uh, was really easy to find based on the writing of the script. Uh, and uh, the Jackson Cove is kind of an amalgam of, uh, of some traits in myself that a lot of people haven't seen before and a whole lot of traits from uh, Damien Lay, uh, the director. We, it's kind of, a, uh, kind of a personal amalgam of both him and I, which was kind of fun to do. Now, wearing the uh, World War I period outfits and getting in the plane, did it sort of really take you into the role? Well, one of the great things about this movie is Damien Lay did, uh, did, did, did extensive research and extensive pre-production work uh, to get uh, proper aircraft, uh, actual World War I aircraft, uh, and to make an actual Model T two-scale Ford that, uh, that drove, that actually drove. And, uh, uh, you know, that, that work, bringing those vehicles in, uh, having those vehicles to work with and work around uh, automatically puts you in the time period. Uh, and uh, you, you know you, you don't have to do much acting. Uh, it's a it's a whole lot of just kind of uh, natural environment stuff that that puts you right there in the in the now. I've been a fan of yours for so long, and normally when I think of you, I think of being a hot, gorgeous, which you still are, <laughs> uh, funny guy. And this is such a big departure. Was it difficult to sort of uh, change your mind? And as you're growing older as an actor who's been, who has the uh, time to be um, around for so long, so many others have fallen by the wayside. How are you able to sort of keep it together? Oh, Cherry, that's a big question. That's that, 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 that oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. You know, uh, you're right. Um, it's uh, it, it, for me. It's all about growth, uh, and it's all about the you know. The, for me, the actor's challenge is who am I today, and what do I have to bring to each character that I have the opportunity to play. Um, you know, I'm 36. When I came up in the business, I was 18. And uh, I certainly couldn't play Jackson Cove type characters when I was 18. And, you know, there, there wasn't anybody who was 18 that could. You, th this is kind of an age appropriate role. Uh, and I'm excited for, uh, I'm, I'm excited for that. I, I'm excited to grow into myself, uh, to grow into uh, who I am in my late 30s. Um, to uh, to have those life experiences and really kind of to be out of the 20s and to have all those growing pains behind me and to and to really stand here and be a man and to be able to play uh, to to be able to play real men and uh, that that's exciting to me because that's uh, that's where I am in my life and um, you know that that really is the challenge uh, to growing up in this business it's always difficult to uh, kind of transition from uh, you know from teenager into into man the audience really does and dig it. Uh, the uh, the you know the uh, the 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 production. I guess Hollywood at large really doesn't dig it. We don't like anybody to grow up. Uh, but but it's definitely time for me to grow up and uh, to move forward and to play some uh, play play some interesting characters. So an incredibly long answer to your incredibly long question. Touche. Touche. <laughs> so what was it like working um, on set? in such a, a desert, difficult sort of area and being away from your family? Uh, you know what, the being away from my family part is hard, uh, especially uh, being engaged to be married now. 
Uh, though we weren't at the time, I, uh, I, I love Lena with all my heart. Um, and, uh, you know, anytime I'm away from her, I miss her. Uh, and what that's done for me is that's allowed me to, uh, uh, to really, uh, you know, the, the, the stakes are higher now. And uh, I do have to, you know, uh, to leave my family and, and go make movies. And a lot of people think that it's, you know, that it's going to just play around and, and you know, go into the desert and play around and do, do, uh, do that kind of thing. But it's so much more than that. It's, it's real work and, uh, and, and it's work that I love and it's my passion. And, uh, and um, uh, being out in the desert was an absolute blast. Uh, to get out in the desert with guys like Damian Lay, uh, we're very, very like-minded individuals in that uh, we both love to put our boots on and get our hands dirty. Uh, neither one of us are afraid of hard work, and we really challenged each other and the crew uh, to, uh, to, to get after it out there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really proud with, uh, with, with what we ended up with. Now, what did you learn on the set from Damian and just for from such a big departure from your normal world. No, that idiot can't teach me a thing. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're taking advice from Damian Lay, then then you really have been misdirected in your own life. Um, no, uh, it, Damian Lay is a fantastic man. Um, I'm happy to know him. He's become a dear friend of mine. Um, to uh, to to give me an opportunity to make that departure and play Jackson Cove, I'll be forever grateful. And uh, um, you know, um, uh, he's just uh, he put a lot of faith in me, and uh, and I, I appreciate that very much. I would like to ask what you would say to other young actors who are starting out in the business or who are currently working because unlike a lot of contemporaries, I never really heard of you getting in any trouble and you kept your nose to the grindstone and you kept working. Well, for any actors uh, coming up that uh, are thinking about being in the business or are uh, trying, to, uh, trying to break into the business right now, I want to ask you, are you sure? Are you sure? And yeah, it, it might sound like a joke, but really it's a serious question. Are you sure? Because it's a, uh, it, it's a sacrifice. It's not just a career, it's a lifestyle. And uh, uh, you, you have to be sure that you're ready, willing, and able to make the sacrifices that you're going to have to make to come out here and fight. Uh, because uh, it's, it, it's the major leagues and uh, anybody who's a great actor is here trying to be a great actor. So the competition is stiff and um, you know you, you really have to be sure that, that this is a that, that you want to make this creative endeavor uh, your life because uh, it's that, that, that's the type of dedication that it takes. Now that being said, it's a heck of a lot of fun but, uh, but you know m most people don't see the uh, most people don't see the behind the scenes work. Uh, most people don't see the growing pains and um, you know so uh, you, you just have to be really really sure. Uh, that, that you're ready to to dedicate yourself and that you really love telling stories because uh, if, if it's just about being a celebrity there are plenty of other ways to do that if it's about being an actor um, you know then uh, th then it's really about doing the work and uh, and and uh, you know the, the real actors the actors that I that I grew up watching that I uh, that I try to emulate their uh, they, they do the work it's work first uh, party later and uh, and uh, you know that that's definitely um, I probably sound like a life uh, uh, an after school special right now but it, it really is about dedication and uh, I wish you all the best thank you so much for talking with me I look forward to uh, seeing you in the movie and in future projects. Yeah, 100%, Cherry. Thank you very, very much. I look forward to seeing you soon.